Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to have a quick look at Note Matrix 2, which is a contact multi script. Before we get started, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. So today's video is going to be very short. I'm just going to show you Note Matrix 2. First off, how we load this is you're going to load an instrument or just, you know, open up an instance of contact. And then we're going to hit this KSP over here. Now it will be, all be empty. It will look like this. And you're going to click the preset folder. And when you install this, you're simply going to find this location on your PC. In your documents folder, this is on Windows, of course, um, your username, documents, native instruments, and then we have contact. So you're going to go to the presets folder, find the multi scripts, and load note matrix into there. Simply um, just drag it over into that folder. And then this folder here, note matrix 2, we're going to go back into contact and go into pictures, and then simply drag that in there. The manual is also located here. So when, once we do that, it will be able to go to the presets and it'll be right here. So what this essentially is, is a very simple program or multi script that allows you to remap notes uh, for purposes of the MIDI controllers. So we have, you know, everything laid out here. So for instance, if you want uh, F0 to actually trigger a D1, you can do that. <laughs> and I'll show you a little bit about that. Um, I think one of the really useful things that this may be good for is for remapping key switches. You know, um, a lot of different libraries have key switches here and they're always not very consistent across different developers. And so you may have key switches all over the place. Um, so you can kind of, you know, centralize that by mapping all of your key switches to the same uh, area or for instance if you have a pad controller you can map um, different notes into your pad controller and use that as a melodic controller so really quick we're just going to show you how it works you just use this and you can click that and learn a note and then you can change the output you can also change the velocity over here you can also change the length um, some midi pad controllers send a note with pretty much zero length um, and so it's made for hitting drums so you can adjust the length of the note so that again you can play melodic phrases with a pad controller So again, very quick video just showing you how to use this. This is mostly a very niche tool and it's more in depth um, when it comes to mapping and programming. It's very simple and it just makes things a little bit easier. Um, a lot of libraries have ways to remap uh, things such as key switches or you can remap your pad controller so that it doesn't trigger chromatically maybe it only triggers in a certain scale this is just a much easier way to do all that so that's note matrix 2 contact multi script thanks for checking it out with me i'll see you guys next time